first with Taki, I mean, you know, at varying times all year, you know, he's played an important role for us, whether it's been that extra outfielder right now, obviously getting a lot of opportunities, has really handled himself uh, really well at the plate, even against lefties. And they're leading off left-handed uh, pitcher, uh, smokes that ball. So he, he's been he's been really good for us and, and much needed, obviously. And then Rowe, you know, just kind of waiting his, his shot and uh, – you know, Gary goes down for a time, and he's come up with some obviously some really big hits for us here in his in his starts, and uh, and you know he's just so respected in that room. So for him to st step up again, um, not surprised, but but uh, excited for him. Uh, Tanaka had a 36 pitch fourth. First two guys reach in the fifth. <coughs> He still has a zero on the board, but you make the move over there. What compelled you to go to green? Th that um, just, you know, I knew it wasn't going to have much more um, in the 36 pitch inning. Uh, the time before, I just thought he was starting to, you know, wear him down a little bit. And then going back through the top of the order, first two guys get on. I just felt like, you know, with the off day coming up, you know, I felt like we could run out our guys to a degree. Um so yeah, it was just it, it was just the difficulty of the last you know forty pitches for him uh, that that made my decision. I know you're still digesting this win, but the trade deadline passes with no additions to the twenty five man roster. You've said the last few days, I'll go to war with these guys in that clubhouse. Now that the deadline has passed, your thoughts on no additions? Nothing changes there. Um, you know just in there celebrating a win with those guys and, and looking around the room and know we've got everything we need um, to be a championship club and uh, that doesn't change um, I have total faith in Brian and their staff and in that they're gonna always do what's best for this organization as far as whether that's short term long term all those things um, so the fact that something didn't happen it, it, it means it didn't match up. So um, we're ready to roll and move forward now. And now that this day is, I guess, officially behind us. Uh, Dan, to the right. The Astros picked up uh, Grinky, So they have a, a pretty formidable top three. Is that something that you think about? I know your, your mind is on day to day, but there's also right. October ahead of you. Yeah, I mean, that's... You know, ho hopefully we're in a position to be playing them in a meaningful game, maybe. Um, you never know when you match up, but, um, you know, obviously he's a really good pitcher and, and helps their club, certainly. Um, but we know we can go beat anyone, and that's, you know, nothing changes there. Uh, Anthony, do you have a question? To the right here, John. With, uh, with Talkman, does, does he need to, you know, do you need to look for at-bats for him even when your guys come back, Gardner and, and DJ? Um, we'll see. You know, it's it's kind of had a way of unfolding, you know, the way it should. You know, every time we think, okay, this is happening and we got to move something around, something else has happened. It's been that kind of strange year. So, you know, he's put himself in a position to continue to earn opportunities um, when those come. The the It'll be determined kind of day to day, but he's uh, he's done a great job for us. Who else? Anyone else? Wally. Oh. Aaron, you say nothing changes, you know, with the trade deadline. But I mean, are you happy with um, the state of your starting pitching? And um, when can we realistically expect to see Severino again? Uh, well, Sevy's Sevy's due to get on the mound here pretty soon when uh, i don't know when the date is or you know but we expect to see him absolutely um you know obviously we we had a tough you know six or eight starts there where our guys struggled a little bit hopefully we're now starting to right the ship back a little bit um but we know those guys are capable of giving us quality innings and and handing it off to 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 our guys um and hopefully you know Sevy, Dellen, whoever else working their way back um, become a factor for us at some point. We believe they will. George. <laughs> Was uh, that Gregorius' wrist that he... Yeah, he rolled over his wrist a little bit, kind of the wrist, 
hand fingers there. So. And it was his thigh in the foul ball. It was yeah, just above the knee that he fouled it off. He's yeah. obviously he's okay. I, I think he's okay, but you know he's he's tough too. He. And the play with uh, Urshela uh, on the overthrow from Hicks was that. <clears throat> yeah, he banged his knee a little bit, and uh, but then you know as the game went on, I thought I thought he actually was moving really well, and you know obviously made a great play there in the ninth, and and thought he was running well. So I think it it was just something temporary that that kind of jarred him.